Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be going over all of the methods you can use to get playing Fortnite Mobile on either your iOS or your Android mobile device today in just a few minutes. Now, most of us know that Fortnite Mobile has been banned off of both the iOS and the Google Play Store for almost the better part of three years now. However, even though the game is banned, there are still multiple different methods you can use to get access to both old versions of Fortnite Mobile and the current up-to-date Chapter 4 versions in 2023. I have made a few videos talking about the possibility of us mobile players being able to play the native version of Fortnite Mobile on our iOS devices through side loading if the feature is incorporated into iOS 17. But until we get some confirmation and some more news on that, here are all the methods to play Fortnite Mobile in 2023. Now, starting off with probably the most interesting method, it is the old native version of Fortnite Mobile on iOS. What I mean by this is you can actually go and download and install the Fortnite Mobile 13.4 update, the last version that Epic Games officially produced for the Fortnite Mobile platform platform, you can download it and install it to either your iPhone or your iPad. Now, the only downside is if you go through this installation process, it's a little lengthy as it requires you to have a PC, connect your phone to the PC, download some software to your PC, download some files, and then you can get started with the installation process. On top of that, the Fortnite mobile file for iOS is about 10 gigabytes in size. So if you don't have those 10 gigs available on either your iPhone or your iPad, you either have to delete some apps or you just can't go through the installation. However, if you do choose to actually use this method of installing Fortnite Mobile, you will be greeted with the old Chapter 2 Season 3 map. All of the nostalgia will be flooding back to you because it is basically a time capsule of Fortnite. You're able to play the perfectly preserved Chapter 2 Season 3 map with all the POIs, with all the mythic guns and characters, but there's really no one on these servers. Because it's so old and outdated and it's really difficult to install nowadays, there's only a few real players in each match, and sometimes the matches can take up to 10 to 15 15 minutes to even get into a lobby. So the only reason I would recommend installing this is if you have extra time in your hands, you have extra space on your device, and you really just want to experience some old nostalgic Fortnite mobile. Now I'll leave a link down below in the description on how to actually install Fortnite mobile on your iOS device using this method because it's really lengthy, it's time consuming, and Golden made a really good video back day on how to do it. When you actually go and search some of these things on Google, you can sometimes get some really misleading and actually wrong results from Google when trying to play Fortnite mobile on either your iOS or your Android device. Device. And so all the links in the description will be official links from all of the cloud gaming servers and from Epic Games themselves. And no, nothing in this video is sponsored. I just want to make sure you guys have the correct sources and the correct information to play Fortnite Mobile without putting you or your accounts at risk. Now, moving on to Android, believe it or not, even though the game is banned on the Google Play Store, Epic Games have actually made a workaround for you to natively download the game and install it on your Android device. Now, it is super simple to do so. It'll only take like a minute or so. All you have to do is head to the link in the description for the Epic Games Store downloader. Once you've clicked the link, you'll be brought to Epic Games' website where you'll be prompted or greeted with a download for their store. Once the installation file has downloaded, you just open it up, you run it, you install the Epic Games Store on your device, and then once you've installed it, you of course log into your account, and then you'll be able to install the Fortnite mobile app on your Android device. I think right now the file size is around six and a half to seven gigabytes. So it's a bit on the larger side, but it is the native version of Fortnite. Fortnite. There's no cloud gaming. You're able to install the game on your device and get up and running within just a few minutes. And believe it or not, this is the only method to download an up-to-date version of Fortnite Mobile natively on both iOS or Android. And that's because all the other methods to play Fortnite Mobile are all cloud gaming services. Now, if you don't know what cloud gaming is, basically what you do is you use your mobile phone to remotely connect into a really powerful gaming PC somewhere in a server located near you. Once you've connected from your phone to the server, you'll basically use the inputs and the controls on your screen to control the movement of this gaming computer. And so what this allows you to do is it allows you to play a ton of different games out there without having to install them on your device, which saves a ton of storage and also prevents your device typically from overheating and maybe having some performance issues. And also gives us the ability to play games that might be banned like Fortnite Mobile on our devices. Now the platform that I would recommend most people check out is the Xbox Cloud Gaming platform. The reason for this is it takes literally just a few seconds to get playing Fortnite Mobile on either your iOS or your Android device. And the reason for this is all you need is an Xbox account or a Microsoft account. You don't need to have an Xbox Live membership. You literally just need to have an account. Once you've used that account to sign into the platform, you can then choose between a plethora of different games, obviously Fortnite Mobile being one of them. Once you've selected the game, you boot it up, usually it takes around 10 or 15 seconds, and then you'll be greeted with Fortnite on your phone. Now, I do want you guys to take note that this is not Fortnite Mobile. Basically, what they're doing is they're allowing you to use mobile
multiple touch controls on your phone to once again control that PC out there somewhere in the world. So you're basically getting PC level graphics, PC level frame rate, but you're using the mobile touch controls to actually make everything happen. So for any users out there who might have a lower end device, this would probably honestly be better than you installing Fortnite on your Android because you can probably get a more consistent frame rate and better graphics. But the only downside is to really get the maximum benefit from cloud gaming, you'll usually have to have a really good Wi-Fi or cell service connection. But I think those are pretty easy to come by nowadays. Now, moving on to the second cloud gaming service that I would recommend is the NVIDIA GeForce Now gaming service. Now, this is on paper better than all of their cloud gaming services. The only problem is to take maximum advantage of the NVIDIA GeForce Now cloud gaming experience, you'll have to dish out a few dollars every single month in the form of one of their monthly memberships. There is a free membership option available. However, it does come with some limitations in terms of how long you're able to game without getting kicked off your machine and also the specs of the machine, meaning you'll get a lower spec machine so your games might not run as well. And also you might have to wait a little bit longer to actually get into the game because if you put in a virtual queue, usually behind priority members who get first dibs on the machine. However, even with all these drawbacks, I would still say NVIDIA GeForce Now is almost tied with the Xbox gaming platform because once again, all you have to do is make an account with NVIDIA GeForce Now. You can use a Gmail account or whatever you have. Login takes a few seconds and then you can be playing Fortnite Mobile just like that on both iOS and Android. Super simple. And even though the free machines do have some limitations, I think all in all the free machines, the free subscription is still a really good deal. However, if you hop on at peak times when a lot of people are trying to play, you might be better suited playing the Xbox platform where it might be a little bit laggier, might have a little bit more input delay, but you'll be able to get gaming faster. Also, I do want to note these settings for the NVIDIA GeForce Now platform are phenomenal. They allow you to customize a lot of the gameplay settings like resolution, your max frame rate, and also how much data you want to send back and forth between the servers. If you're using cell service, this will basically allow you to save a ton of your data so it's not all being wasted on this cloud gaming service. But if you're using Wi-Fi, you can typically just max out the performance so that way you're getting the absolute best quality and as little input delay as possible. Now, the third and final cloud gaming service is a brand new one and kind of the reason I'm making this video, but it has a lot of drawbacks. The newest cloud gaming platform is called Luna and it is by Amazon. So Amazon, they decided to make their own cloud gaming service, but there's a big catch and it is you have to have an Amazon Prime membership in order to even get access to this service. Now, I know a lot of people use Amazon, including myself. And so there's a good chance someone in your family might have an Amazon Prime account you could borrow and use and try to connect to the service using someone else's account. However, even if you are able to source an Amazon Prime account and use it to log into the Luna cloud gaming service, you're really not gonna be met with a lot of performance. Things might have changed and they might actively be upgrading the servers, but I really wasn't impressed with my first time playing on this cloud gaming platform. Cloud gaming already has a lot of things going against it. Like if you have bad internet, then your quality is gonna be decreased. And on top of that, usually the input delay is pretty hard to deal with in really intense fights. And so if you have a cloud gaming service where it's giving you additional input and additional quality issues, then it's really hard for me to recommend anyone try out the servers. However, if you try the NVIDIA GeForce Now service and you've tried the Xbox service and you still just haven't felt satisfied with either one of them, I guess I could recommend for you to try out the Amazon Luna cloud gaming platform because it is an additional option for you and it might actually be the best cloud gaming service for you. Now, once again, if you want to try any of these methods, all the information will be linked down below in the description. And guys, please use the links in the description. I get literally no benefit from you clicking the links in the description. I'm not sponsored. This is not an affiliate thing. I just don't want you guys to lose your accounts. There's a lot of fishy websites out there, even scam websites that pretend to be these cloud gaming platforms. And if you're accidentally directed to one of them after searching up one of these services on Google, then you could easily log into your Epic Games account through one of these fake websites and lose your account. And that is the last thing I want for you to happen. So please, once again, if you want to try any of these services, download Fortnite Mobile through the Epic Games Store or to install the old version of Fortnite mobile on your device all the information will be down below in the description and as always if any new news comes out regarding the ios 17 side loading feature i will be the first person to make a video so that you guys know what's going on with that situation but as always hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next one deuces